Hey, all right. So let's make a video on converting some uh, some characters or some function in um, SQL Server to uh, we want to convert it to XML, and we want to do that maybe just through a function because functions are fast in database types and they work quickly. So let's uh, let's go get through this. So I'm just going to be using a database here called uh, ICS311 Test, and that's a database that I already know about. I know the kind of information that's going to be going in and out. And that's just uh, kind of define where this function is going to be acting. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and say create function. And let's say function value to XML. And then let's just make it an integer value for now. And let's say it returns XML because that's what it's going to be returning. Let's say as begin and go. That sounds kind of funny, I guess. As begin and go. <clears throat> Right, because we're going to be whoop, returns. Uh, this should be plural returns, <clears throat> and then uh, needs a return stem in here. You can see, so it's expecting that we return XML from this function here. So um, we're creating this function. The function name is func, f u n c func, I guess, value to XML. We're passing what's called a parameter here. We gave the parameter name uh, value. And we gave it the data type integer, so we're expecting some sort of number, numerical value. And then we have, we're telling it that it returns, this whole entire function returns XML. And then we're saying as, and then you do your begin end is kind of how, is kind of like if you're used to programming, that's kind of like these little guys here. That's kind of like these curly braces for you guys. If not, don't worry about it if you're used to generic or general SQL. So you say as, begin, and go. And there you go. So let's uh, now let's just return something. So we're going to say return. And we're going to say root. Right? We're going to return something at the root level. And let's say items. Item. Now let's pass our value. So and it's an integer. And we can't we can't um, concatenate an integer. We can't uh, append an integer or a, in a string together. Right? So we need to cast it. So we're going to say cast value as var car now we can do that and now we need to make our closing tags so we had item as last so we need to close that first and now we had items next so we close that next and we had root next so we close that and there we go so these are called tags each one of these so this is a tag this is a tag this is a tag and maybe an easier way to think about this is this is typically maybe how it would look you would have your value, right? And I'll just format this a little bit for us to see here. So there, maybe that's how, maybe that looks a little bit easier to notice now. That's probably better. So you have your root level, then you have your items. So there, but this would be like a, some sort of maybe if you're casting, I don't know, class type or something. And then you have your value, or you have your uh, value name, and then your value in between. And in this case, our value name is just item, and we're going to have a list of items in our root here. So, And uh, that's all there's going to be for it, so I'm going to go ahead and hit F5 to execute. And you can see your command completed successfully, so I'm going to do a new query. <clears throat> and you think you can just hit Control N to do that. Or at the top, there's a hit new query button. And now let's test this out. So now I'm going to use this same database. And we are going to say print, and we are uh, we're going to have to do something a little bit tricky here. We're going to have to do a select into and then select the table. So we're going to say select, uh, select, and we called the function function value to XML, and we'll say ten as we'll say temp. So we'll just give it a temporary column name into temp table. And then we're going to say select all from temp table. And then we're going to want to drop that table. Okay, so it doesn't exist anymore. So what we're doing is we're doing a select. Um, and then essentially what this select is doing is it's calling this function we just made. 
uh, and then this function is expecting a value, and in this case we're passing an integer value of 10, and then we're telling that select p to call whatever this function returns, <coughs> temp, so it'll insert into a column named temp, and then it'll create that, and then it'll create that into a table, and it'll create the table. So it does it does a bunch of goofy stuff. It creates this table um, dynamically, which is pretty cool. This is a select into if you've never done one. And then essentially it calls this function, and then it makes this column name into this table. We select that table, and then we drop that table. So that's a lot to kind of take in, so I'm just going to show you here. So I'm going to hit F5. And function value to XML, value to XML is not recognized built-in function name. Uh, let me see here. I'm gonna hit refresh because I'm pretty sure. Yep. See. Okay. Is not a recognized built-in function name. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to look this up here. I might need to do DBO. There we go. There we go. I had to do DBO <coughs> in front of it. Sorry about that. Anyway, so I did DBO, and we can see down here it returned this. And if I click this, you can see it. We can see the actual physical XML that it just returned, plus the value. So, and that's just kind of a quick demonstration. Uh, I guess you got a little bit of a select into, and uh, a couple other things to learn. Some selects and drop tables, but. And this is just kind of how it returns XML, so there's not much else to it. And that's going to conclude this uh, video.